So my name is Nathan O'Donnell. Uh, I am a writer. Um, I write a lot about art. Uh, I'm also an editor. I, I've been for the last five years working as the editor of an art journal called Paper Visual Art. Um, I publish essays and fiction, um, but I also have, have developed a practice working with young people. Yeah, so when the, the project started, I really thought it was going to be focused solely on the strikes. Um, on this period between 1982 and 83, uh, when the, the, the Clondalkin Paper Mill Action Group were occupying the mill building, were organising protests and strike actions, um, and the hunger strike itself in 83. But what happened uh, when I began to connect with the students at Neilstown and the, the, the particular context of the uh, Collinstown Park Community College was that I, I realised there was this, this other sort of history from that period. Uh, Collinstown Park Community College was built in 83 as well. Uh, and really what I got a sense of was the divide between Old Clondalkin and Neilstown. Yeah, on that basis I began looking at planning histories and the, the, uh, the Wright report um, from the 60s and the Dublin Development Plan in the 70s and really how these things came about and how this history is happening alongside the, the history of the mill and the strikes um, and all of these things go to make up what the, I guess is the complexity of the area. So all of this led to the publication or the production with this group of students of a, a radical magazine. Um, and the magazine actually features a whole mix of things. I mean, it's got creative writing by the students. We've got transcripts from oral histories uh, of the, the mill workers, uh, newspaper um, coverage and um, clippings. Uh, and we have material from things like the Wright Report and these histories of planning in, the, in this part of the city. So really, it's been, it became a, a question of collage and a question of layering these different um, aspects of place, one on top of the other. Um, and I think that the result is going to be very uh, evocative in, in a lot of complex ways that, that perhaps I, I, hadn't, I hadn't anticipated at the start. So at the start, I, I guess I didn't really know what I was doing. I did a lot of um, field research. I mean, I was going out into Clondalk and getting to know the, the area, getting to know the place. Um, and initially I started to write, and I have written thousands and thousands of words about the place and about the history I was able to uncover. Uh, but actually, the process led me to think in different ways about how I can, how I can practice, how I can think about writing. Um, and one of the things that's been really important is the idea that uh, we can use engagement of this sort to make writing public um, in, in a manner that doesn't necessarily involve publishing, uh, it doesn't involve necessarily writing an essay, writing a story, writing a novel, but it's still, to me, writing. Um, so yeah, I guess it's deepened my thinking about what I can do.